Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at two different things. First, we're going to look at how to delete some of the apps that we may not be using on our iPad. And then we're going to look at how to reinstall those apps. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is how to delete some of the apps that we aren't using. So I see that I have a bunch of apps on here and I'm like, you know what? We're never using these and they're just taking up space on my device. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click down on one of the apps and I'm going to hold it until it shakes, wiggles, or dances. And then I'm going to click the X on it. I can delete that one. I know that we aren't really ever using Google Slides. I may choose to delete that one. Think about which apps your teacher isn't having you use at this point in the year, and you can just clear those off because we can always reinstall those at a later time if we need to. This will just make sure that we keep some free space on your device so that we can download other apps. Now, the second thing that we can do is re-download those apps. So I know that my teacher has been asking me to take a test on iReady, and when I go into Safari to log in, it's giving me an error. So what I can do is go to that manager app. When you guys first log in, your screen will look like this. It should say Feaster Charter School 2020 Remote Learning. Down at the bottom, I have a button for self-service. I'm going to click on that. Now, once that loads, I'll see all the apps that my teacher has requested and that all the other teachers in the school have requested for remote learning, and I can reinstall them as I need. So I'm going to scroll down to where I see iReady because I know that that's the one that I was missing and I need to use that app. So I'm going to click reinstall slash update. It will tell me that a command has been sent to the device. And then I will see that it's waiting at first. And now I see that it's starting to load. So that's how you would delete apps to free up space and reinstall apps as you need. If you need help logging on to iReady, please check one of our other videos for signing on using the single sign-on through the CVESD page. Thanks everyone.